Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So today I'm going to talk about the updated player character. Star Stable gave us a lot of new information about it yesterday. So as always, I thought that I'd just go over it and see what they said. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video as always. And if you do, make sure to subscribe. It really means a lot. And now let's get into it. They posted another blog. It's the game blog for April. One thing that I'm really confused by is that this happened with the 2023 roadmap update too but they aren't posting their like blogs to their star stable blog anymore but just to their star stable website and honestly i don't even know how to find this like page on their website so i just rely on links when they like release the blog and post about it on their social media but anyway yesterday they posted a game blog for april of 2023 it is titled player character update and cheating it's april we have a great update for you regarding our new player character from our producer marie cecil then our technical director Ismail has teamed up with our player safety team to talk about cheating in game and how to prevent it. Enjoy! So I think I'll just talk about the player character update. I think I'm gonna make a different video for cheating, but the updated players are such a polarizing topic. You know, even for me, you know, anytime I start to kind of like them, I just notice something about them or like I see a post or something and I'm just like taken aback again and I'm starting to dislike them but yeah anyway I think I'm gonna talk more about this a bit later so let's see what they said so this part is obviously titled the player character update hello folks we wanted to revisit some news you may have heard about the second beta for the new player character players from the first beta who confirmed they would be happy to do a second round of testing were contacted by mail in march we informed them that they could try the new player character again by the end of the same month they then received another email informing them that unfortunately we had some delays and wouldn't be able to run the test session at the time. So what happened? We obviously made a lot of progress with the first beta and we really wanted to show it as soon as possible. At the same time, another team was working on the horse state machine, which is a big technical challenge. When we got closer to the beta, we realized that there would be too many things we would like to fix animation wise and not enough time between the new character and the two state machines to sync. As we were mentioning in the February blog post, while the horses are now animated through the now released state machine, the new player character will also benefit from that technology, but these two systems need to communicate with each other to have a consistency between how the horse and the rider move together. As we didn't want to have a beta with so many elements that needed an explanation and that would have a we know we'll fix it later comment on them. We decided we needed more time and it was better to refocus on the main release instead of rushing a beta. Will you do a beta at all then? We're not sure yet, we will keep you posted. What we really want right now is the team to focus rather than preparing a beta as that setup brings specific challenges. We're not ruling out another smaller test prior to release, but it likely won't be the large beta we had the first time. When will the new character be released for all players? As announced in the previous blog post, we're really hoping to deliver it during the summer, ideally in June. It will depend, of course, on several technical aspects, including performance optimization and bug fixing. We do want to release it as soon as we can, as we can't wait to let you access these options and enjoy the updated graphics. We're reaching a point where we feel confident about the stability of the release and we feel like the player character has a solid foundation we can build on for years to come. There will be regular updates after the initial release to continue to improve the experience. In May, we're planning to do a small update with the beauty salons to improve access to appearance to appearance change and better visibility of the hairstyles and makeup you have in your 
in your inventory, meaning that you will no longer have to go to your stable to change your character's main features. Can I keep my old character? When the new player character is released, all of our players around the world will see their avatar updated. You will keep all your clothes, makeup, hairstyles and accessories and you will still be able to ride any of your horses. It is very normal to be heavily attached to your current character and seeing a new version of it could be an emotional moment. Changes are always frightening, especially when you spend so many hours, maybe even so many years in someone's company. Will the update be free? What about the following ones? When the player character is updated, everyone will be able to modify their character once for free. We have implemented a new pricing system, allowing players only to pay for what they are changing. Changing the eye color is cheaper than changing the eye color and the face shape, for example. Once again, thanks so much for your patience and all the constructive feedback. Yes, the constructive feedback that they don't do anything with. So I think first I'm just gonna like quickly go through the post and then like talk about all of it. Okay, so first of all, I really don't blame them for not going through with, you know, the second beta, even though the first one wasn't even a beta. I think in Instagram comments, they did actually call it a pre-beta. So I have no idea why they're calling it a beta here. Probably to like save face and cover up. But yeah, I think it would be very pointless to do a beta if, if there were so many glitches and if it was so unfinished. I think it would just raise much more criticism, if anything. Honestly, I really don't care if they do another beta. I feel like if this would take focus off of them working on something else, it's just better to not do it at all. And it seems like we're going to get it in June, probably. But with how SSO is, I really, really wouldn't be surprised if this gets pushed back once more. But I don't know, with SSO, I feel like, at least for me, it's so weird because sometimes it's, it's very hard to know where they actually are in terms of progress because sometimes you think that, you know, they just started talking about it, but they're actually like almost done with the project. And other times they're saying that they're basically done, but I don't know, they're not, like something comes up. It is very sad that we can't keep our current you know, avatar, but I think it's not surprising at all. I kind of get why people would ask this, but at the same time, I feel like it's common knowledge. I think it's the same thing as, you know, when we're going to get the new, like, interface, new HUD slash DUI. Many people were saying that we would probably be able to choose between which one we're going to have, but I really doubt that's gonna be an option. I think we're just gonna have the new one which is kind of sad. I think with, you know, the new player character, with the new, like, interface, there's obviously a lot of nostalgia, but I think there's more to it, at least for the user interface, because now it has so much character. I've also seen people talk about how, you know, the visually impaired people, or I don't know, people with other conditions, or people that have trouble navigating through things like this, would have a really hard time since everything is so little and it basically looks the same. The interface that we have now has so much character and I really think they should have just upgraded it. I mean, they definitely could have made it into a more, a more modern style, but instead they chose to completely change it. And I am gonna talk about this in a video that I plan to do on this whole thing. But honestly, I'm very conflicted. Star Stable is currently doing so many like fundamental changes to the game. And I feel like this is one of those things that will either make or break the game. Maybe in a few years, we'll look back and be like, oh my gosh, SSO was so lucky to change this at this time when they were getting so many competitors because if they, you know, stuck to the old, many people might have left, but at the same time, I feel like they're making so many drastic changes one after another, and I'm really wondering if they're going to lose some of their player base, because the changes that they're making are visual, and when you play, 
I think you know how everything looks plays a really really big part and not only are they going to change your avatar which is I feel like one of the most important things in the game I mean there's obviously horses but I feel like the avatar is kind of you know you yourself and you know for them to to change that it is definitely a really big deal and another thing that you constantly look at while you play is the user interface the HUD the UI and it is also going to get a drastic change so again I'm really not sure if this is the smartest idea to do all at once because we're literally going to get all of these changes like just a couple of months we're going to get the, the updated user interface in I think like six weeks or something like that and that's gonna be like right a little bit before they're planning to release the updated character so we're so we're really going to get it all at once and again i just don't know if that's the smartest move as always stars will post it about the game blog to their social media and on instagram people had a lot of things to say and stars i guess created this copy paste uh, reply that they i guess replied with to many comments and i just wanted to share it with you so one person said Please listen to your community. Most of your players are not as young as these characters look. Most of your players are teens and adults. I know this game is aimed for younger kids, but it's just not pleasant for older players. As an adult, I don't want to be running around looking like a kid. It just feels so wrong. Please listen to your community. Also, these characters have no slim figures nor any figure at all. I would much rather have the old characters, maybe even add in a male character. And Starcilla replied with, I hear your frustration, I really do. The images used in this blog post do not show any of the updates that the team has currently made to the new character. We know that the players have asked for a variety of body types and we did adjust one of the body types to be even skinnier at the request of many. However, we also know that there are hundreds, if not thousands of different body types that players want to see so they can feel represented, but the team has to start somewhere. So they selected the current six general body types to start out with. This doesn't mean that there won't be more body types in the future though. So I really wonder what changes they made. I saw a picture of one of uh, Star Civil employees on a character a while ago and it was basically from around the time that they were supposed to launch the beta and at least to me it didn't like on the outside look any different. I am happy that they made one body type slimmer because I do feel like, I mean, obviously they had slim body types, but I feel like if we compare it, okay. If we look at the pictures of the updated characters, they just have different body proportions. For example, their legs are shorter. And, and I think this is a very big factor because the character that we have now, I feel like has literally the perfect body, you know, very long limbs, long legs just overall very good looking i guess and the updated characters at least to me look like they have much shorter legs and i think that might be playing into that they also don't have any like boobs i guess <laughs> i don't know how else to say it and as this person said they literally look like toddlers i cannot put my finger on what it is I mean, I'd say it's just the face if they changed it, but I feel like the NPCs look better than us at this point. I mean, I'm not saying like the character that we have now, but the updated ones, because I read somewhere that we're supposed to be, you know, somewhere between 16 and 18 years old. And this to me really doesn't look like it. I mean, I'm not saying an 18, a 16 to 18 year old can look like this. But I feel like, you know, even compared to the other Soul Riders and the Dark Riders, we just look so young. But no, it's like literally like baby toddlers, but like with a bigger body, but the face is the same. I just, I don't know. And I know I'm being kind of critical in my videos lately. I think I'm just gonna make a video, a more positive video someday now because I feel like, you know, I might be considered 
like a very negative youtuber at this point but i just feel like there's so many things right now that i want to talk about and it's not like i'm looking out for topics that are negative it just so happens that right now there's so many new things that came out that are just i wouldn't even say negative but just something that i would like to share my opinion on and if that opinion is a critical one then so be it but anyway i wanted to check some comments under the post that they made on instagram about the updated player character because i really wanted to see what other people had to say so here it is i really don't want to look like a toddler most of the players are older teenagers adults and it feels freaking weird to run around as a child i thought the whole point with the updated characters was to make us feel represented in the game not the opposite June? That's actually great. I really hope you won't have further delays on that. We've been waiting long enough FR. I feel like Star Stable is the only company complaining how hard it is to create a game. Please listen to your community regarding the new player update, sorry but we don't like them. I absolutely think the shape looks like a child, which is something many players in their teens and 20s will not like. I would love to have more woman-like options than this. The new characters are really scary but honestly look great currently, minus the options for body type. However, I think they have a lot of potential and SSO is going to work hard to make the update as smooth as possible, and accommodate player wishes. They have worked really hard on the characters and will continue to do so and hopefully be open about the changes they implement. I'm not saying we shouldn't be concerned, but a lot of people seem overly negative, if that makes sense? I've been playing SSO for a long time and OFC, it's going to be a massive change. But I'm honestly gonna trust SSO on this one to fix up the body types and if you all wanna complain. Go get qualified and hired on by SSO and do the job yourself. Please keep the characters we have right now. This is so exciting. Thank you for taking the time to focus on them, yet also doing your best to bring them to us as early as June. This is the biggest update that I've been waiting on. As a person with many accounts, because I love variety, this is going to make them so much better. Much love to the team, thank you. Please listen to the community when we say we don't like the characters. I think wholeheartedly think they look beautiful and are they will fit very well into the game. Can't wait to get so many options to choose from. It will be scary to say goodbye to the old models of course and I think it will take time for us to get used to it. Change is scary, even if it's for the better. Think the work you've done so far amazing and I'm so happy about how far this game has come since I started playing in 2014. I definitely think the characters look like toddlers. They need more defined features. Such as longer eyelashes, sharper jaws etc. I really hope there will be different heights in the character customization. Not all of us are short. For now they look okay, ish. Hope you take into account our requests. Can't wait to see more footage from the character update. Would be great to have a sneak peek in case there won't be no beta test. Hoping for more body types, I'm a bit tall and lanky and none of the body types seem to fit that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video as always and I'm gonna see you in my next one. Bye!